I've got a bit of a different setup this evening. I've I I got myself a gaming headset. <laughs> Mainly because I'm away from my studio quite often and I was kind of finding myself with a lot of free time away from my streaming gear but wanting to stream. So I've kind of got myself a little mobile setup now including a little gaming headset with a little microphone on it so I hope the looks like the signal's pretty healthy how is the sound I'm kind of I can hear myself pretty well thanks Marcus hey Nick yeah I can see the chat like for some reason the chat's OBS has like changed its layout slightly, so I can't see. I'm just gonna see if I can move stuff about a bit. It's got like a, a okay. Now I can see stuff. It's got you won't be able to see it, but it's got like a YouTube live control panel, which is quite handy. But we can put where can we put this here? Something. How's everyone doing? Yes, that'll do. Thanks. I don't actually know if I want it. It's a YouTube live control panel. I don't know if I want to see it, to be honest. Um, hey! Sounds like Bob Harris. <laughs> Does it sound crisp? It's a Logitech, the Logitech Pro X or something like that. I'm able, I'm able to procure and kind of invest in my streaming setup thanks to my lovely patrons and supporters. I think I've got a few new names to announce as well that aren't on that list. Let me just get that up. I haven't got a noise gate on the mic yet or anything, so I don't know if it needs one, to be honest. We'll see how we get on. I definitely do have new people to thank. New members last 30 days. Stephen Laidlaw, I thought you... Uh, Just check in the credits. I'm sure you were already a patron. Well, good to have you on board. If not, Stephen Laidlaw, thanks very much. Dave Arter. I think Aaron, S Aaron Semi Dom Donmez. Aaron, S let me read that again. Aaron Semi Donmez. Thanks very much for the patron support. Patreon support. Carter via Aurora, Slip, Slip Stash, Charlie Allenson, and then I think everyone else I've announced. Gary Elliott, if not, thanks everyone for supporting me on Patreon. I'll get you added to the credits as soon as I can. Oh, Gary, you're already on there, I can see. Marcel. Smooth. Smooth, Tim, please, Santa. Yeah. Maybe this is the way to go. It's certainly, it's certainly quite... It's certainly com comfy. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm able to kind of invest in the channel with the support on Patreon from everyone who supports me there uh, monthly. So thanks very much if you're interested in that. All the links are in the description. They they're always always there. Links to everything. Um, 
But yeah, let's uh let's jump back over. You can see I've got my webcam on, so you can see, look, I'm in a different space here. Let's come off this. Three two split. How are we doing? So the lighting's not as good. It's not as flattering, but yeah, I I don't know if I can how how's it gonna be having a drink? ASMR. I've got Roy Boss tea here. Yeah, I'm often away from my my studio space as it were. And I was like, how can I how can I do this on the move? You know, how can I have a mobile setup? Because often, if I if I'm with my kids or anything, once they're in bed, I can't go anywhere. And I'm, most of the time, I just make music. Uh, so, and whenever I make music, I'm always like, I wish I could stream this. I wish I could just because that's that's what I'm all about, just kind of showing people everything. So yeah, I think I'm think I think with with uh, the channel is entering a new era mobile mobile streaming um so i've just got my laptop my headset and a monitor that's all we need eh so it's worth announcing now that uh, after a a, pat a patron suggested like a feedback stream I think I'm I'm definitely going to go ahead with that in the new year. So if you're watching this, I'll handle all of it on Discord. I will advertise it again on YouTube when I've kind of got a, a, a loose system for how I'm going to do it. But um, yeah, submit submit your music, uh, and I'll try and listen to as much as I can on probably a quarterly stream. Dep depends how popular it is, and just kind of offer some offer some light chat and feedback on it. I do have a feedback tier on Patreon with limited spaces where I provide more written feedback or, or more in-depth written feedback in response to people's music. Um, but I, I'm get I get asked a lot about doing a, a feedback thing or perhaps you know you could play tracks on stream, and I think it's actually a great idea. I think it'd be really cool to do that, and I get sent a lot of music anyway. So. Um, and I really love talking about it, you know, helping people solve their problems with music. So keep an eye out for that. All right, I'm going to stop this bad boy. And we're just going to work on some tunes this evening. I've got I've got loads to be working on. Um, Cuba. Just look, just notice in your. I think Tomba is different than your usual setup. Yeah, is is. I'm the the gain's looking pretty healthy, and I guess it will be a slightly thinner sound. I usually I'm on a Shaw, an SM58. This is a condenser mic now, so you probably hear some background noise as well. But um, otherwise you have to take an interface, you have to take a mic stand, you have to take cables, um. And it's just like it becomes a whole thing, which is like I'm not going to I'm not going to do that every time. Maybe I could even do a stream from Weatherspoons now in the morning. Um, I don't really make music at Weatherspoons anymore. Shame. Um, okay, so we're working. We're, th these are all the tracks I've been working on. We worked on this Euphoria on the last stream. Um, I think I quite like Tourniquet as well, and let's just choose one. Let's not beat about the bush here. Let's just like um, make some decisions and work on something. Um, I'm just going to bring this up in a sec. I'm just get into my. So, just check my audio settings so I don't destroy anything. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice, Adam. It's probably good. Good on a, good on a, a train. I love train journeys for like. I love a bit of music making on a train, or <clears throat> you know, those kind of liminal spaces, trains, planes, cafes. <laughs> kind of in, in between you know they, they're, I can find them really stimulating sometimes you kind of just do things you wouldn't normally do because it feels like I don't know there's no consequences um Jordan oh that's I recognize your I recognize your um picture finally I catch a live stream Vancouver nice how is it over there? Is it um are you getting snow at this time of year now? It's cold in the UK. It's kind of dipped. Uh frost on the car this morning. Okay, let's torn okay, yeah. Yeah, I remember this one. Thank you. 
I think I've probably heard enough on that. Um, I'm not necessarily really super excited to work on that, but I'm going to do that anyway. Oh, I think it's good to kind of demonstrate how I go about when I just don't, I'm not really feeling something necessarily. Um, just catch up with the chat. Uh, it's beautiful today, cold though, no snow where I'm at now. Well, I suppose that's uh, that's a good thing, is it? We um we usually get we usually get snow at some point where I am in the West Midlands at some point over over winter. Okay, all right. So you, you UK originally, Jordan. That sounds good, Sam Binger tonight. So I guess you're probably like what's six hours behind or something that'll be good okay right let's just tawny k okay like really really what i want to hear in this is i want to hear um, an uncluttered drop so we've got all these pads and stuff happening and maybe they'd be nice for an intro um but really just kind of it's 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 too long i i kind of want um to make make it make it shorter uh like i can't say i'm really excited about working on this but uh which is why it's good to kind of make a list and really focus on what what you're not enjoying about it um i'd say it's it's almost like an like ambient kind of dubstepy thing isn't it you know so we should we should play to that play to that strength you know play just sometimes it helps to kind of like identify exactly what it is you're 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 going for to have like a purpose it's almost like a I listen to a lot of this like chill step and stuff on youtube and it sounds sounds a bit like that you know so like kind of minimal um be nice to have some like i t i did want some like air traffic control didn't i in this one i seem to remember so maybe we can find that um uh, traffic control. Traffic um control recordings. Yeah, you've got this like archived. Um, these are quite cool. These like archived live air traffic. Oh god, this okay. It's pretty grim stuff there, but. Bird strikes. Okay, that looks cool, doesn't it? United flight sees unusual, unusual lights in the, in skies over Virginia. No. Yeah. I think you can just download. United six seventy three. Yeah, about two o'clock. High altitude. Got a lot of lights moving around out there. So. Uh... <laughs> Sick, that's so cool. Just a lot of lights at it, uh, okay. Um, has that gone to my downloads? Let's just put this back here. Yeah, nice one. Okay, let's let's open this project up then. Tourniquet. Mm. There we go. I'm gonna move it into draft. Have I put it in draft? I think I have put these things in draft. Where did I work on the last one then? Um, where did I put Euphoria? Did I put it in done? I 
this is kind of my system for keeping things organized. Systems are only as good as like, how you're maintaining them, though. Where is it? There we go. If you to draft. Great. Uh, tourniquet. Yeah, so I want to make this like a trippy dubstep thing. That's good. I might make a note of that. <clears throat> I'm just going to... trippy dubstep thing what does that mean like you know like spacious less elements work harder with what I've got with what I've got space space is so uh, spacious yeah space is so important I think that's the thing I've kind of enjoyed more the more I make music the less I like to put in it What was, the, what was the one I looked at there? Tourniquet. Did I work on it in September? I did. Okay. Hey, Jason. Yeah, cool. I'm glad you got the day off then, Jordan. Nice one, Timply Sunset. Good to see you, ma'am. Um... Had a great live show with Ned Rush in Cardiff last week. That was good fun. Um, some excellent acts. Ned was absolutely amazing. I, th I think he was panicking about his set before, but it was it was sick. Pope Jean Paul Van Damme, all the other artists, um, Alien Alarms, the fellow Passenger, Broken Semitone, um, DJ Soft Lad. I think that was it. Um, everyone on the bill. Yeah, just amazing. Okay, so I'm saving a date on this one. Oh, did I... I've got airport sounds in it anyway. This is just airport ambience, though. Okay, I must have put that in. Sorry for the clicks there, I'm just getting used to this mic. Okay, right, let's dive in. Let's make some progress with this. If we can, we'll work on another one. I kind of really like the light touch approach. So, <clears throat> I don't know, let's just put the drop somewhere. Control stuff. Looks a bit loud. <laughs> what 
are the drums like? Just this kit. <clears throat> Quite wimpy. <laughs> Oh, I made this with wave views, that's quite cool. well up nice high up <clears throat> I don't want these chords happening yet I'm just gonna <clears throat> save them a beat <clears throat> why not Yeah, it's just um operator. I think it's got some like LFO business. Probably mess with it. it's got this. That could be nice to modulate. <clears throat> Can you map this? Oh God, I've got Ben right under my feet there. <clears throat> okay. So I almost, oh, I almost want it to be like, you know, quite a, a dreamy intro. Yeah, I missed that. 
Um, just to, I'm just kind of making the Thank you. 
Hopefully me. <laughs> it is a nice it is a nice wob. Yeah, well it's quite nice. <laughs> on my <laughs> on my keyboard. Okay, let's just refer back to our notes here. So okay, I'm saying it's too long, we need to make it shorter. Um so we've got the uncluttered drop. Let's you know, I'm just gonna be ruthless here. Don't really think I'm missing out on much if I say, you know, let's make this a make this like a three minute thing. There we go. Done. Don't be precious. Let's not be precious. <laughs> It's got 
like this mad like glitch on it. That's quite cool, that beat, though. I like that. Um, Atmosphere, a bit too cinematic. What's going on? Um, you can like move them. Okay, so it's just. Necessarily, they're okay. Let's just overdub it, yeah. I 
just kept getting the idea down. They were like, there's a kind of chordal idea I'm hearing in it now. Um, maybe we could duplicate that now. I'll just, uh, just change the patch. Um, let's go another. Tronic? Tronic, this is Lunaris. No, definitely not. <clears throat> I want something like deeper than that. Dusty. Maybe that was some like a reverb or something, or I don't know, whatever's on here. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Like hearing a melody, additional melody. Thank you. 
probably won't keep a lot of this stuff, but I'm just riding it out now while I feel it. Mr. Jim. Good atmosphere in any case. This evening is perfect for me. The voices are cool. I'm glad I'm glad you're feeling the atmosphere. Yeah, kind of this is this is what we're saying with this one. I think it's definitely all about atmosphere. Maybe we could dig into these vocals a little bit. I mean, essentially I'm just getting I'm getting the shape of the arrangement here a bit more now. You know, um I'm feeling that we, you know, probably about here you're going to want a change of some sort. Maybe like some light. These are all quite... Let's let's just add another kit, yeah. I don't know. I get a bit random at this point. Um, I don't know. I'll get something like this. Let's go with that. That's fine. would say is that like over over time I often just draw stuff like this in now and then like I'll, I'll make it <laughs> more precise or something later but I often just don't yeah this is a nice look we could do something with this can we just pull the pitch down or something Chack is cool. Let's just put this here. I'm going to do like a kind of pitch down thing. We could do like a cross thing with this, can we? could go from light. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sometimes I just play these little bits in. I think like over time I've just got much more loose with my um like just just I don't know, like treating Ableton like a big sketch pad, you know, it's like, like I've just much less pressures about automation and recording things and I just like capture ideas a lot quicker. But I just feel a lot more free and easy using it. It takes a while to get into that, like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay to do this, to not, like, want to um, manage every tiny detail, you know. Um, hey, Alan, how are we doing? Oh. Likewise, good gig, wasn't it? Did you get back okay? I think you left before I could um, catch up for my set. I don't know if you left before. It was late, wasn't it? Oh, thanks, Kurji. Thanks so much. Hope you're good. Do some like drills, shall we? 
this would be too much, I think. <laughs> I like it. It's like a like a major third rather than a minor. out so much. Let's just increase my buffer size bit. Time's quite good to play with an operator. Let's change. just like increase it slightly as we go to the end of every note. <laughs> Maybe make that like um like go up a bit like fifty seven. <laughs> These small movements matter. Let's change this now. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, something like this. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe make it like zero. Probably need some ambience or something here, yeah. So I think we had this, like, you know, I don't know, something like... that uh mr jim yeah thank you very much that was that was exactly what we're after as well these were my notes before i started spacious less elements work harder with what i've got air traffic control chat i think we can tear that off chill step minimal yeah i wouldn't mind some too long make it shorter done that uncluttered drop trippy dubstep thing spacious less allow i think we're going to We'll just carry on working for now. Um, Moody Mank. Just a quick thanks, my dude. Have learned loads watching you. Currently deep into 90s pad design. Nice one. My pleasure. Thank you so much for um, for that. Um, thanks, thanks so much. I, I, um, 
appreciate everyone who watches, likes, comments, reaches out, says, um, you know, gets in touch. It's really, really um, means a lot. It means a lot. It's funny with that video because it didn't like. Um, I'd been chatting with George from Grooving and G, and he was like, you know, yeah, you like make a pads video. <laughs> And so I probably divvied over it for a long while. Life just got in the way and stuff. Because I wanted to do something like that would be original, you know. And um, uh, yeah, it, it it just didn't do as well as I, f I thought it would. And but that's fine. That's kind of the YouTube thing, really. And I don't like to. I, I don't like to even. You, you know, you kind of make the video and you just carry on. Really, that's all you can do. Um, I feel we need more of this chat, this air traffic control chat. But thanks, Moody Bank. Thank you so much. F I'm, I'm really glad it's helping people. You know? What's this mad delay? I feel that's only good for like certain effects, isn't it? Uh, should we add another de another Valhalla delay? I mean, really, this is the, the whole dubstep thing is the clues in the name, like dub, isn't it? It's just like <laughs> a few, few elements and lots of lots of effects and that I feel like we just want like you know straight up sorry yes What's it even going to here? We don't want that. You know, this is the kind of thing I'll show you what I do actually. I just literally um, put the plus, make sure the additional, you know, overdubbing is switched on. Just plug my Mac in. Um, and I'm just going to record some. I'll show you what I do. This is how I do, I do work with so many arrangements. Just record from here. Just to like here. You know, and I just, I might record. You know, probably. Just recording the automation now. I'm not going to dig into all the drums in that at the moment. It's broad moves, uh, big moves. <laughs> It's fun how it becomes that. And yeah, the, this this is exactly what I do. So I just I'm going to just record. I'll show you what I do. I'll just record play with the sends now. 
stuff like that I'll just literally um, just record the automation rather than drawing it in I enjoy that a lot more and it makes it sound a lot more organic so you just you know press record make sure automation is armed and you can just record record it all in um, <laughs> Yeah, I love love doing stuff like that. Turn off triplet grid, let's just do add some. Nice, just add in some more rhythmic interest for the outro. Oh, I just might record some more or if because if I really like what I've done, I'll just go back and record it again if I'm not happy with it. Um and like the automation is preserved if you change the beat and stuff, so another thing we do is this filter, couldn't we, you know? <laughs> Thank you. 
I mean, like, there's, it's all over the place at the moment, really, in terms of, like, refining the moments and getting it, you know, uh, really making, making things hard, as in impactful, as in the music's delivering kind of what I want it to, but I think the shape of it's there now, you know. I would definitely want more of this this chat stuff, but like I just <laughs> Yeah, I'm just 
Turns there, so let's just listen from the top. I don't know if I 
How are we doing? Um, thank you very much. Yeah, I think... Uh, so, just a, some reflection on that session. I think I, I just wasn't particularly excited about working on that track at all. Um, and um, I remember listening back to it last time I streamed. And I kind of... I think sometimes because like my time is at such a premium that I could, I could kind of hear listening to the idea, right? I kind of, I kind of know where I would want to take this and I kind of know what this, this might be about, but, um, I don't necessarily know if, uh, I want to spend my time working on those things on that particular track. It's not that I didn't like it necessarily. It's just more that, um, like there are probably other tracks that'd be more exciting and feel like it would be a better use of my time to work on now. But I think it's a good demonstration. I think it's always good to demonstrate, particularly in front of people and on stream, that how how I go about just working with music that I'm not particularly enamoured with or not particularly excited to work on. And that was really to I mean, I just made a list of pretty pretty vague things to be honest, like but I knew it. I knew it wanted to be a trippy dubstep thing, and the unclut. As soon as you start to take away stuff, the uncluttered drop. I really think that that kind of helped. Um, that helped. That that was a way in, if you know what I mean. Sometimes you just need a way into the music, like something needs to big needs to change, or or you need to you need to get rid of something or just cut something out completely. You know, to turn of an effect off. Um, you need like yeah, you need. You need to just have that breakthrough. And so I knew that it wasn't necessarily a breakthrough because I knew that if I got rid of the stuff, it'd, it'd sound how I wanted it to. Um, and whenever you whenever you put down something like minimal or spacious, less elements, how many times have you wanted to make a track that was spacious? I'm talking from, and how many times, I, I know how many times I've wanted to make a spacious track that has not been spacious at all, you know, I haven't really done that with it. There's something like spacious is spacious. It's just less stuff, but there's always the there's always the the, the feeling you you need to add more <laughs> to make more space. So I don't think I did that really. I don't think I did that too much anywhere. If, um, I'm letting the the part. There's certainly minimal parts in it, so I can hear it when I listen back to it. Like if I'm if if I've been true to that minimal um minimal intention so i'm going to export it now but i have i i did cut it down i know i wanted to do that i know it seems obvious to write these things down sometimes but it could just help to make a list because before you know it you're like you you're losing your mind with um auditioning sounds and stuff like this you know so can really help to just go, okay, what the, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Right, come back to my list, you know, come back to my list of points I, I, I said I wanted to do at the beginning. Just helps to maintain that direction when you're working on a session because it can all too easily get out of hand and you just end up diff not doing... You know, it's fine to go off on tangents for sure and, like, explore happy accidents, but at the same time, you don't when you don't know what to do, you know, and, and so you'll 
so you'll you'll probably often avoid just doing what what you know you should be doing which is like making it groovy or something or just you know instead you'll like go and look for sound design stuff whatever <laughs> or, or thinking you need a new plugin when actually it's just you just need to rewrite the baseline um okay i'm going to dial it on now Okay. Mr. Anchovy, yep, I can never finish an idea in my head. It's always a crazy journey that ends up somewhere else, indeed. And of course, you know, you do, I, I, I would think, like, when things start to, if they just start to work with a particular thing, I'd always, like, follow it through. I'd always encourage, like, you not being like, no, I mustn't, I mustn't, because I said I wasn't, I've got to do these things. But, like, I'd always... I've just written the date in reverse order so I know which one was the last one I worked on and I've diaried this on. Great, that's that's two that's two things in draft we've worked on now. I need to get through some of these other ones. Oh, we need to I need to finish more music at the moment. Um Jordan Sound Toys. Um I've got Sound Toy like I like the look of their new plate plugin. Um, to be fair, like, what's the, how much is that then? Like to, how much is that for you? $300 or something like that. Uh, I can tell you, like just looking for all the plugins I have here. I use CQ all the time, the EQ. I don't really use Tremolator too much. Um, but. Like decapitator is great, Echo Boy is great, the effect rack is really good. Two hundred fifty bucks. Um. Yeah, I think I I would highly recommend them. I dec yeah, crystallizer that's cool. I mean, a lot of these a lot of these you can do. You know, you could just do stock stuff. It's like I think, but I think they 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 have a different quality of sound. Like um. The, fil the Filter Freak is sick. What I like about Filter Freak as well is that you can... It's got, it's got a mix. It's got a dry wet, which you don't have on auto filter. And it's like... Um, and it's also, also with their stuff. I don't know if it has oversampling. Anyway, um, it's got this... And George grooving in G turned me on to like, or, or just reminded me about it and it, how good it sounds. And it sounds wicked on breaks. It sounds wicked on breaks. It sounds really good on bass stuff, to be fair. You know, if I, I'll save this. Yeah, a more analog sound by the sound of things. I would say, I would say it's almost like, I think over the years I've got used, like when people say, oh, it just, they sound great. And when, I, when people used to, when I was like earlier on in my musical journey and people might say they sound great and I listened to them, I'd be like, um, okay, I can't really tell the difference. But over time, like, yeah, these sound, the, the, like, you know, a distortion plugin from a plugin company where they, you know, where they make that one plugin is is probably going to be a bit more sophisticated than Ableton's, even though it will do the same thing. Really, it the quality of sound, the timbre, the tone, you know, the tone, the 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 kind of uh, the character of it is just a bit more refined, I think. But yeah, for Filter Freak is really cool, um, and you can. You know, you can do all kinds of things with this alone. Um, like, wobs. Right, that's just an operator. Okay. Uh, and we can, you can push the... Reverse 
it's not the best example of it in use, but uh, another thing it's got is like the gain. That's nice. That's just a filter. Huh. Oh, you could probably make it. Very nice. It does. Ableton 12 has got raw, which looks really cool, which reminds me of Rift from minimal audio i got the cu current recently and been messing around with that a lot that is really cool really liking current um and you can change like the the it can be in And you can make it uh, rhythmic as well. Is it elopo rhythm? Don't want that. <laughs> you can probably change the attack of that. Here? Yeah, it's just really good. I don't know how I changed the... Yeah, but I really like Filter Freak and it sounds great on breaks. Um, Devil Lock is sick as well. Especially on drums. You know, if you get any... Just like a 909 or something. It's just like a real, it's it's like a limiter almost, but that's. So like a filter and then. get some like mad like you could just run a sine wave through that as well and you get you're gonna get oh no um jordan my pleasure you know distorted sine wave that you could then um, put filter freak in and, and it's also got the effect rack where you can line them all up and stuff and if you buy the latest one you're going to get the plate the big plate which looks really cool uh, yeah I decapitator alone is very good um, Wow, 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 wow. 
nice if you could like adjust the yeah it's got these cool like presets as well nice nice like bass timbre Step step sequences. Be good if it like started from the Filter Freak's cool. Yeah. I won't, I won't demo them. <laughs> they are good though. I should, I should, Tremolators feels like one I should have another look at because that's, um, that's quite powerful as well. It's, that's cool, you know. That is nice. Yeah, it's so much more than a tremolator. This really, it's like an like a gate, really. Nice. really well filter freak tremolator Tremol does classic thing of like uh, I've, i should really play with these plugins more I'm, I'm, i've made a lot of i've made a lot of bass patches in the past of tremolator like rhythmic bass stuff 
but not for ages, and it's it's great. Tremor tremor later on drums, probably is like on breaks and stuff. Do you mean or filter freak? Echo Boy's great. I love that. That sounds really nice. Oh, ra Radiator's quite cool as well. You know, just like that. I've put this because I put it before Devil Lock. Just for like warming stuff up. isn't it? <laughs> I think like, you know, you see there's so many tutorials and stuff like this, but like you can actually like there's so many ways to make that sound. <laughs> you know, it is just like and there's so, there's so many tones you can get out of just distorting a sine wave. Really? Which this it? Okay, it's not. It's not. That's a sine wave. <laughs> you just need to resample that. You know, you could duplicate the radiator as well. kind of thing I'd probably resample in a tune. Very nice. Alright guys, I'm going to call it a night there. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for watching me on this inaugural test stream away from my normal setup. And it seems to work absolutely fine. I, I can't wait to listen back to the mic actually and see what it's like. But thanks everyone for checking in on the chat. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was informative. If you like me, um, if you like me, if you like, if you like the channel, if you enjoy the streams, 
uh, please consider supporting on. Well, first of all, please consider giving the video a like, um, subscribing, following me on Discord or, for, or joining the community on Discord or supporting me on Patreon. Uh, it all really helps the engagement and, um, you know, helping me uh, invest the channel with things like these headphones, which, you know, with, with the help of my patrons, we do, we're doing this now, you know. So, um, yeah, I really appreciate each and every one of my supporters on there. It means a huge deal. Uh, as well as everyone who's, who's in the chat all the time and commenting, and, and, like, all the support is just great how you know i appreciate all of it all the interaction thank you um <laughs> thanks Kurji. yeah thanks all i hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend i might be on again we'll see i love streaming i love making music in front of people and i want to do it as much as possible so yeah all right have a good one make time to make some music as well if you can